So what we would like to do is we're going to acquire, acquire data, right? And as we learned from the class, our analog data need to be uh, digitized, right? So you need to do sampling and quantization, and that's digitization, right? And signal and image processing, after you digitize, you do image processing, and then you do something called pattern recognition, which is analysis, right? Good tooling, right? And then you do artificial intelligence is image understanding from a big data set that you have that you can compare. And that is what is computer vision. What, the, what, how we, what do we mean by computer vision? Okay. So people think when, when we talk about artificial intelligence in the medical field, it just does something you know weird. But it's not, it's just basic processes that we are doing it and comparing you know, information. So we have low level vision, medium level, and high level. So when you talk about low level uh, vision, which is image processing, um, it's a similar operation performed on an image, aiming to enhance the quality uh, and so selecting useful information which will be processed by the human or other algorithms. So someone needs to look at the image, modify the image a little bit, and then they so we need to process it by human or algorithm. So you will start with an image. Image processing, you still look, you're looking at the image, same image. Uh, even when we talked about the uh, sampling last time with different, you know, blurriness to the each image. Uh, so that's what we mean by low level. An example of low level imaging is this one. So you have an input image, you have Gaussian blurriness to the image. Then, in order to just um, make sure that you have distinct contouring. And then you have the contour extraction algorithm, contour selection, just to make them, if, if they are bigger than a specific size and the dimension, keep them, they are not to remove them. For example, this is not something that we are looking at here. We will eliminate that in the contour selection. And then you do some segmentation and just to fill the contours with, uh, you know, different color so that I can get the area. So this is, we started with an image, we did signal processing, but we're still looking at the same image, right? So someone has to come here and say, okay, well, I have these bolts, right? And these screws there, uh, we'll look at This is still low level imaging. We, we did this one processing, two for three steps of processing on that image. And that is low level processing. It's part of the process. Now, so you, now, what happened when you work with the mid-level vision? So we, it will include extraction of symbolic information from pre-processed images um, and some characteristics. So you have an image, you do the image uh, processing and analysis, and then you get some features out of the image that you're looking for. For example, same example. We started here. I did processing. I'm looking at the segmentation. Uh, which is filling the contour, and then I will take this image and I want to do something else to it by saying extract visual primitive, for example, and that's automatically. Find give the area and the circularity. So in MATLAB, there are two functions. One to give you the area of each of the segmented objects, which is calculating the area of the you know black pixel. That's how we do that. And then uh, your area is here. So you'll see that you have two of them, very high. And those are the big on the uh, uh, bullets, right? And then you have areas that are similar to each other. Then you need to just find something called circularity. The lower the circularity that you have, uh, those are the, oh, sorry, the lower the number, the higher the circularity. The lower this number is higher the circularity. And if you have something that's not circular, look like the nuts, uh, they will be in the higher high center. Now, when you get this, these, not this graph, now this is doing a mid level processing. You still need to look at the data to see which one is which. But now we're not looking at the image itself, but I'm looking at the data. And the, and the uh, low level, I'm still looking at the image itself here, right? So I'm still looking at that. But when we do mid level, I need to extract information and look at the information to make decisions. 
Yeah, so we'd like to, to distinguish between them. So at the mid level, I'm looking at this chart and it's giving me information. So I did the segmentation, initial processing, but also I also use the area as a circularity. And the beauty about MATLAB, it has a function. Just put area and it will find the area of each one of them and the circularity will give you the numbers. Now, high level image, that's now another story. That's where you classify things, count things, and it will give you the answers automatically. Uh, so we are trying to obtain a comprehension of the observed scene uh, as shape recognition, spatial relationship, all of that together. So you have an image, you have a feature pictor. So this is here, feature pictor um, is, is this graph. Uh, and then you will do and decision processes. So you will say, well, okay, here's what we have. A classification methods, you, you will be saying that if circularity is above, let's say, 41, 41 that is enough. If it's below 41, and the, so you put condition. If it's, the circularity is above 41 and below 300, that's enough. If it's below 40, circularity, and below 300, the area, that's uh, kosher. And if it is, the area is above 600, that is your, it's a more. So now you need to put conditions, boundaries on this. So about five, eight, 508, 70 to whatever that value, and you put font boundaries. Now this is arbitrary filters now, because I use the data to come up with a range to make a decision. So we, we do something called clustering, and a classification method, uh, and non supervised automated. I attended a conference and they were trying to, um, so they're using a visual, visual uh, image processing to sort fruits for the harvest.